Good morning, YouTube. It is five in the morning. I don't want to really be up right now, but as you can tell, we're about to go hunting, so it's going to be a good day regardless. Base camp is actually my dorm room, so that's pretty nice. Um, I was talking to one of the landowners that we have permission to thermal hunt on uh, about how I haven't been able to kill a deer this year, and I just wanted to get some meat, so he told me I'm more than welcome to shoot a doe with my bow, so that's what we're about to go do. I'm completely done with finals. I had my last final yesterday. Hopefully I passed it, we'll see how that goes. But, <sighs> breakfast is consisting of a double-decker oatmeal cream pie. I'm getting notifications that there's deer at my feeder right now. Sweet. Um, so, oatmeal cream pie, the double-deckers, they are so gassed, and a Celsius, because I had no energy this morning. I went to bed late you know, college life, but I better get going because I'm ready to kill a deer. Here's a quick fit check. I will see you all in a second. So it's currently 39 degrees outside. I have about a 25 minute drive to the property. Um, looking at this wind, I don't think I'll be able to hunt the tree stand. So I'm literally going to sit up next to some bushes and hopefully that does me well. Whenever we thermal hunt this place, there's deer everywhere. Uh, so hopefully that's what it, it's going to be the same during the daylight. We'll see how that goes. As y'all can tell, I am still in the Toyota Corolla. Last time y'all saw me in this thing, truck was in the shop. This time my brother needs my truck to bring his motorcycle back home uh, from A&M for the holidays. So we'll see how we do with this Corolla. It's literally stuffed, packed full of gear. If y'all didn't check out uh, one of the last couple videos, I literally took this Toyota Corolla uh, thermal hunting with us, me and Kyle did, and we slaughtered those pigs and we literally put those, what's this car doing? Uh, anyways, we literally put the pigs on top of this car. So that was a fun video. Make sure y'all check that out. But I will see y'all when I'm sitting on the ground. So I decided to leave where I was sitting for the morning to go check out some other spots and actually set up a pop-up blind where I was just hunting for tomorrow's sit. But I'm walking y'all can't tell but there's a field on the other side of those trees and there's some deer over there we'll see if we can get a spot and stop going but it'll for sure be tough i'll have to probably shoot from this side of the fence because i can't open that gate without them hearing it so hopefully they're close enough we'll see how it goes So, I knew that was definitely going to be hard, walking up that little valley hill, whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of leaves. It was going to be really hard to get all the way up to this gate. If I got all the way up here, that shot would have been 58 yards away. So, it was definitely doable if I could get up here, which was very difficult. But there was four deer in this field. So, I mean, that's a good sign. I've been talking to the landowner. I was texting him this morning. He said in the evenings, there's another, there's a grain field over there that he sees a lot of deer in. So I'm going to check it out right now. Maybe there's deer right now, but if not, I'm just going to see if I can find a place to sit up this evening. And then once I find a place, I'm going to come back here, set up a pop-up blind where I hunted this morning. Um, I didn't see anything this morning except for there was a buck on camera. And then on my walk in right there, 20 or 30 yards away, there was a doe that I could see in the moonlight. Um, but I'll set up a pop-up blind there for tomorrow morning sit and see how that goes. 
but I'm gonna go check out that green field right now. All right, so nothing was in this grain field. But I'll quickly show y'all what the layout is. That's what the evening sit is gonna be like. Landowner said that the deer will come from here and just over time they'll walk their way all the way over there. I have a tree set up in front of me just to cover me up a little bit. Still pretty out in the open, but I have two shrubs next to me. And then there's a pond right over there. But there's deer tracks right all over here. So if I'm still, maybe I'll make something happen. Well, it's not much, but it's honest work. I honestly wish I could do a little bit better, but there's really not much brush that I could use to brush it in. But I'm hoping that these deer are dumb enough where this should just cover it. I'm mostly just trying to break up the outline, which I think I did for the most part. So we will see how it goes. I will quickly show y'all a view of the inside. So here we are, here's my little shooting window. I might have to move those sticks out of the way. Out of the way, there's a feeder over there or I might just get on this side where I have a much better view. Once again, the baronet blind. I'm not gonna clear any of that stuff out just because I didn't feel like it, but I have enough cleared out to be quiet on this side. But once again, massive blind, love this blind. The plan, hopefully, is I don't even need to sit in this in the morning. Hopefully I can kill a doe on that uh, grain field tonight. So we'll see how that goes, but plan B is gonna be here in the morning. So I guess I'll see y'all on the evening hunt. Well, no luck this evening either. I had two does that came at the closest was about 1.32. So, not close enough, and about maybe 10 minutes after the sunset, I started getting pictures on my cell cam that there were some deer where I hunted this morning. So, I'm honestly surprised since I put that blind up earlier today, but I guess I'll go sit at the blind tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow evening. Hopefully, I think we're getting close to being successful with having those deer and knowing that the deer are hitting the, the feeder. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in the morning.
so just shot a doe with my bow almost at the end of shooting light. Um, what I never noticed was that where the feeder is, there's a low spot and some taller grass, so I could never see her until she walked up to about 24 yards, range about 24. I actually couldn't even see my tape that well. Yeah, I had it on 27. So I hit high shoulder, I shot a nocturnal knock and it didn't get a pass through. So um, I looked through my blind, watched her run all the way to the end of the field. I lost the nocturnal knock, so I'm assuming it fell out. But I tried to film the shot, and I was filming, but she walked, she walked out of frame when I shot. So we'll give it about 30 minutes, and hopefully we can find her. Well, finally found her. It wasn't that bad. It was only about, she only went about 70 yards. Um, she's not the biggest in the world, but that's fine with me. I'm honestly just blessed to be able to put some meat in the freezer. The sever did as intended, went through it. She actually snapped my arrow, but that's okay. That's just part of it. I really thought I hit shoulder, but looks like just high long. We flip her over. Exited. Oh, there, it just fell apart. Exited right there. Um, once again, not shoulder, so I don't know why my air didn't go completely through. Whenever I found her, uh, my knock was actually inside the skin right here, so it went all the way through. Whenever she fell, it stuck back out, but it didn't go back through the skin. It was just about right there. But uh, I'm going to quickly get some pictures done, and then that's when the real work starts. All right, we got a quick picture of the deer and the bow. Now the fun work begins, and I will see y'all once my cooler is filled up. All right, what we got going on over here is, as I said, I am still in the Corolla, and this cooler does not fit in the trunk, which means it needs to go in the back seat, but it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I don't want to put it on the ground. I'm going to leave it on top of the, of the trunk so it doesn't get muddy. And I got some bags to put the meat in, gloves, Havilon, and it's my last blade so if that gets dull i got another knife and then some lights i got from costco which are magnetic super nice and i'm going to time lapse this whole thing my very first time doing a, the gutless method so we'll see how that goes We have all the meat bagged up. Now I just need to go grab some ice for it. I also grabbed the heart. The heart is so underrated if you know how to cook it. If you marinate it for a good time and you cook it well, it is some of the most tender meat you'll ever have. It's it blows my mind the first time. Blowed my mind the first time I had it. Now I will always grab the hearts. Uh, so now I've got to put this back in the car. Got to quickly pick my blind up. Put that up and then go find the nearest uh, ice place. Fill it up with ice. We're good to go. And we are back in the dorm room where the whole video started. I have the deer on ice and the car is absolutely jam packed. I honestly don't know how I got everything in there along with all of my dorm stuff. Um, I'm about to go on Christmas break. Got everything that I need out of the dorm decoys I put in the car hopefully hopefully I can go duck hunting over the break and if I do hopefully I can get y'all some footage um instead of leaving tomorrow morning by 10 a.m which is when we need to be out of here for the break I just decided it's 2:52 right now in the morning I'm not tired I'm just going to take the two hour drive home right now 
with no traffic at all. But anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to uh, follow me on Instagram, like, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video.